Today we're gonna take a look at the contents of my personal range bag, so let's go. What's up crew, it's Chris with CloverTac. Welcome back to the channel, and right off the bat, a quick question. Is there anything in your range bag that you think is unique and other people might want to consider adding to theirs? If so, jump down in the comments below, let us know. Now just about everything we're gonna look at today I can be found in the Clover Tack Amazon Influencer Store. If you want to check that out, uh, we're going to start off looking at the bag. This bag from a company called G4 Free, the number four G4 Free, and great little bags for maybe hiking, uh, emergency kits for the car, med kits, personal range bags. A lot of different uses for these things. Um, on the outside, you can tell we've got a place here for Velcro. You do have uh, a handle. It is a single strap, big wide, nice strap, single strap sling type bag. Can be worn over the shoulder as a backpack, across the chest, however you wanna do it there. Lots of molly on the sides, on the front uh, to hold all of your gear and or maybe even add attachments. And there's also plenty of pockets starting with a big pocket here on the back that you could put a tablet or maybe your phone into. And then on the front, we've got small pocket, medium pocket, and then the zipper uh, that opens up the, uh, the big pocket here. So let's get into this. Let's dive into it, I guess. We'll look at the outside first. You may be wondering what this is. It is a microfiber cloth uh, that I use for wiping down, of course, my safety glasses. Got a pocket knife in the molly on the side here, if I can get it out. And that is a little Kershaw. I believe that's called the hot wire. Uh, pocket knife, excellent little pocket knife for the money. Got a Sharpie marker on this other side. Uh, can't go to the range without a Sharpie marker. Always a need for a flashlight. This is the uh, Streamlight Stylus, I believe it's called. I've had that one for a number of years. Uh, and we can get into the bag itself. I've got some let off little wet wipe things here. Uh, good for wiping down your hands and what every range bag needs, whether it's a small personal range bag or not, is a tourniquet and what I keep around. In most of my bags, these are cheap. These are easy to come by as the SWAT T tourniquets. Center pocket, got my Eye Pro, my Hunter's HD Gold Eye Pro there, and got my Ear Pro, which is the GS Extremes from Axel Hearing Performance. That zip up. And when we get into the big pocket here, you're gonna see kind of where my mind is when it comes to my personal range bag. Uh, we've got the little gun tool here. This is from Real Avid. We've got another uh, little tool. This is a multi-tool, quite possibly the best multi-tool on the planet. Not the lightest weight, most space-saving design, but as far as features, it's jam-packed. This is the gun tool Max from Real Avid. And got to have screwdrivers, and uh, what better driver set than the Wheeler? This is called the little Space Saver set. You can see a lot of bits in that, so pretty much anything and everything you need for as far as optics and stuff like that. And then last but certainly not least, we've got, get that out, we got a bag in a bag there <laughs> uh, in the uh, gun cleaning kit. This is the field cleaning kit from uh, Aegis Gun Care. And Aegis Gun Care, I've got, of course, the cleaner in here, got the lube, microfiber cloth, brush, everything you need to do a quick cleaning on the range. As it turns out, I totally forgot an item that stays in this range bag and actually stays in that back pocket, and that is a fully loaded up, ready to go, cheap little staple gun. So there you go, crew, just a quick video on my personal range bag as well as the content. If you're looking for more stuff here on the channel, I got you some links you might like right over here. As for this one, we're done. So thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And until next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom.